What happened after the tragic and cataclysmic ending of the first generation? Well, we're about to find out. So, essentially, all the powerful rulers of Granville are dead except for Alphys. And he managed to become king and, well, actually, in fact, emperor. As I said here. And time skip 17 years. And yes, everyone gets new portraits to show it. Now, here you'll probably see that um, the second generation has a more typical Fire Emblem plotline with an oppressive country that conquers other countries and a rebellion attempting to stop them. Now, here we go to Isaac, and yes, that's Danon who is the son of Lankavolt and apparently Lex's half-brother. They're actually half-siblings. However, unlike Lex, he inherited the evil gene from his father. And what? Mr. Pallet Swap, he's back again? Ugh. Anyway, Isaac has been under the control of Lankavolt's family for the past 17 years, basically. And there have been rebellions going on for about that long. Because Chapter 5 hinted that there was a rebellion starting already at that time, so... Elise. Where have I heard that name before? Well, just by looking at him, it should be pretty obvious. Now, the theme that's playing here is actually the enemy phase theme for this chapter, and it's probably one of my favourite enemy phase themes in the whole game. So, Danon is sending his henchman, Mr. Pallet Swap the Fourth to investigate the rebels. Yeah, in case it wasn't already obvious, there it is, yes. And it's pretty obvious who the new main character is going to be. Well, that's good if we have nowhere to run. It'd be good experience for our new party. Actually, I would recommend you not underestimate the younger rebels too, because among them are some pretty insane people. Yeah, so Shannon and Oife who were both just children in the first generation, have now become major leaders of the Rebellion. You'll be seeing them in a little while. And I'll be awaiting the good news that yet another Zane clone has been defeated. And here we are at Tyrannog, which, interestingly, the name of this castle uh, became the name of the company that the developer of this game started after leaving Intelligent Systems. And the two characters speaking here are Latch and Saksar who are Ira's children. They're also twins, apparently. Uh, 
uh, by Astra and Lunar and everything into oblivion. That's how you take them on. And interesting, that's yet another Fire Emblem 3 parallel. There are actually kind of a lot of Fire Emblem 3 parallels here with an oppressive country ruled by an evil emperor, soldiers pillaging villages and stealing girls. Yeah, it seems that um, a fair few of the first generation characters' children have been hiding at Turnog for the past few years. So Celise actually grew up in Isaac, and the one with the blonde hair there is Rana, uh, Edain's daughter. And, well, as you'll see later, Interestingly, Celise's main love interest in terms of the story. Right, and so begins chapter 6 and the beginning of the second generation.